In security analysis, we classify risk into two types. One is a diversifiable risk or unsystematic risk. And the second one is non-diversifiable risk or a systematic risk. Now, the portfolio theory uh, says that the diversifiable risk, which is a unique risk or a stock specific risk can be minimized by creating a portfolio. In the sense, by combining uh, two or more stocks with a different uh, risk uh, levels, we can minimize the overall portfolio risk. Now, in doing this, there are multiple factors which influence or which minimize the risk. One is the standard deviation of individual securities. That means, let us say you have a two securities. What is the standard deviation of security A and standard deviation of security B? This is the one factor which influences. And the second is the correlation between these two securities. So the correlation may range anywhere between perfectly negative, that is minus one, to a perfectly positive, that is plus one. And then the uh, other factor which influence is the weightage of each security in the sense when you are combining a portfolio, what proportion of amount to be invested in a security A and what proportion of amount to be invested in a security B. This we call as a weight weightages. So these weights will also influence your portfolio risk. And, and uh, as you are saying that in a portfolio theory, the risk can be minimized in the sense to what extent we can minimize our risk. Now, theoretically, we say that if a portfolio consi consisting of a two securities are, are perfectly negatively correlated, that means the correlation between two securities is minus one, then the portfolio risk may be zero. But in reality, you may not find the securities which are perfectly negatively correlated. Uh, you may have a securities with a various correlations ranging from minus one to uh, one. But if you have a perfectly one correlation, in that case also you cannot minimize the risk. Now, uh, what level of amount to be invested in each security need to be assigned by or need to be calculated? In the sense, say suppose uh, uh, what amount of amount or what percentage of uh, your investment to be in security A and what percentage of investment in security B need to be calculated so that you will have uh, a minimum variance portfolio. So the theory which we talk about this is the global minimum variance portfolio. By solving that equation, you can easily find out what proportion of amount you can invest in a security A and what proportion in security B so that your portfolio risk will be the minimum. In the sense you cannot uh, reduce the risk beyond that. Why we concentrate only on weights of the securities is as an analyst, the weights are only in your control because the standard deviation of a securities and the correlation between securities is beyond the control of analyst. What is it we can do is we simply uh, calculate the minimum variance of a uh, portfolio of security A and a security B. Right. So in this video, I'll show you how to calculate a minimum variance portfolio. And while calculating this, we have a two approaches. One is when the securities are perfectly negatively correlated. In that case, we use a different equation. And if the correlation between securities vary from minus one to uh, 0.9, in that case, we use a different uh, equation to calculate the global minimum variance portfolio. So now I'll show you uh, both ways of calculating the minimum variance of portfolio. In uh, calculating a global minimum variance portfolio, we'll come across with the two situations. In the situation one, where the uh, correlation between two variables is, is a perfectly negative one, that is uh, correlation is minus one. And in another scenario, where the correlation ranges between minus one to 0.9 or uh, near to one. So in these two situations, uh, we use the two different equations to calculate the minimum variance portfolio. In case of situation one, where you have to minimum variance portfolio, where uh, it is a perfectly negative correlation is there between the variables, then uh, your weight of minimum of A, this is standard deviation of B by standard deviation of A plus standard deviation of B. So this equation we use when it is a perfectly negative correlation and uh, to get the uh, weight of uh, minimum of B 
this equals to 1 minus weight of minimum of A. And now in the second scenario where uh, the correlation ranges anywhere between minus 1 and 9, in that case the weight of minimum of A this equals to variance of B minus covariance of AB by variance of A plus variance of B minus 2 into covariance of AB. So we use this equation to calculate when the correlation is uh, not perfectly negative. And as you know that the covariance of AB this equals to standard deviation of A, standard deviation of B and correlation of AB. Then to get a weight of minimum of B then this equals to 1 minus weight of minimum of A. Now I explain this too with you uh, an illustration. Consider two perfectly negatively correlated. So this is a perfectly negatively correlated. That means the correlation is minus 1 of a two risky securities A and B. A has an expected rate of return but we are uh, interested in only standard deviations. So the standard deviation of A is 17% and for a B the standard deviation is 14%. Now to get a weight of a minimum of A, this equals to standard deviation of B by standard deviation of A plus standard deviation of B. So our standard deviation of B is 14%. Standard deviation of B is 14% and the standard deviation of A is 17%. So this equals to 0.14 that is standard deviation of B this by standard deviation of A is 0.17 plus 0.14 that is standard deviation of B. So the weight you got here is 0.45 that is weight of minimum of A is 0.45 then uh, weight of minimum of B this will be 1 minus 0.45 so this equals to 0.55. That means here uh, global minimum variance portfolio R this is uh, 0.45 and this is 0.55. This is how you calculate the minimum variance portfolio when two securities are perfectly negatively correlated. So this is the second example. Here uh, you are asked to calculate uh, minimum variance portfolio where the correlation is 0 0.20 which is not a perfectly negative correlation. So in such a case we need to use the second equation that is to get the weight of minimum of A. So this equals to variance of B minus covariance between AB by variance of uh, A plus variance of B minus 2 into covariance between a b so here you are given a standard deviation of uh, security s and standard deviation of security b now first we calculate the covariance so your covariance between a b this equals to correlation between a b then the standard deviation of a standard deviation of b so this equals to correlation is uh, 0 0.20 times standard deviation of A is 0 0.4 times standard deviation of B is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.2 into 0 0.4 into 0 0.2 so your uh, covariance between A B is equals to 0 0.016 then we need to calculate the variance of uh, B so variance of B is sigma that is your uh, standard deviation is 0.2 raised to the power of 2 then variance of A this is 0.4 raised to the power of 2 so this equals 2 so here we have a variance of uh, B and variance of A 
So in the uh, numerator of your equation, variance of B is 0.04 minus covariance of AB. So it is 0.016. And this upon variance of A, it is 0.16 plus variance of B, 0.04 minus 2 into covariance of AB. Covariance is 0.016. So this is 0 0.04 minus uh, 0.016 then uh, 0 0.16 plus 0 0.04 minus 2 into 0 0.016 so you are uh, this is 0 0.024 by 0 0.168 so you got the value of 0.1429 that is weight of minimum variance of A this equals to 0 0.14 then weight of a minimum of B this equals to 1 minus 0 0.14 that is 0 0.86 so in uh, security A you need to invest a 14% and in security B, you need to invest a 86% so that your portfolio variance will be minimum. And beyond this, you cannot minimize your portfolio variance. This is how you need to calculate minimum variance portfolio in a two scenarios. One is a perfectly negative scenario and one correlation varies from minus one to uh, other uh, positive number. Thank you.